We are up against a stronger opponent with a 4.5 million CP advantage. Do we stand a chance? Unfortunately, we are down to just three ships. However, our bait ship, which carries Yuji, is still operational. Yuji generates shields together with Ahab creating double shields for the flagship and the bait ship. These shields protect our cutthroat ship and buy us time to eliminate the enemy. Welcome back to the Meta Instincts channel. Today's video will discuss the new knife throwing hero, Yuji. We'll explore his skills and how he can optimize the bait ship. Skills Yuji's first skill allows him to generate shields for three ships, one for his own ship and two for random ships. His shield can absorb damage up to 7.5% of his maximum HP. In comparison, Ahab's shield can absorb damage up to 15% of his ship's maximum HP, double Yuji's shield. However, while Yuji's shield protects three ships, Ahab's shield covers only one ship, and the second shield provides only 3.5% protection. Overall, Yuji's shield is more advantageous because it supports more ships. Nevertheless, having both shields in our fleet is essential. Eventually, their shields will overlap, creating a double shield on a single ship. For example, our strategic ship receives these double shields, which have absorbed over 4.2 million damage. That's an impressive level of protection. His second skill increases his ship's armor by up to 10%. When his ship receives damage, it has a 50% chance of gaining up to 4% armor per second, which can be stacked up to 5 layers. Overall, this skill can provide up to 30% armor. His third skill reduces damage taken by up to 12% and provides a shield bonus of up to 10%. His fourth skill is activated when the total fleet's HP drops by 30%. It will increase the lowest HP ship's armor by up to 13% and grant it a shield worth up to 10% of Yuji's ship HP for 7 seconds. This skill helps protect a vulnerable ship, potentially allowing it to survive a fatal strike. However, it can only be triggered once every 15 seconds. If you're spending money on Sea of Conquest, GemZ has the best deal in the market. As Bundle Up's sister company, GemZ helps thousands of players save digital taxes and offers up to 15% discount on bundles. For example, UK players would pay over $127 for a 10,000 Gleamstones bundle. However, with GemZ it's just $87.99, saving over 30% from digital tax and discount, and you save even more as you spend. Plus, first-time users will get a $10 credit for any bundle. Take advantage of flash deals and giveaways on their Discord server. Click the link in the description and start saving today with GemZ. Indestructible body. His final skill activates for 3 seconds when the fleet's total HP drops by 40%. This skill is magnificent for high spenders, as it can convert up to 100% of damage received into healing. Imagine your bait ship dying but returning to total health suddenly. However, we cannot demonstrate this skill because ranking up a knife-throwing hero is quite challenging without a significant budget. While we can unlock this skill at rank 6, it only converts 30% of the damage received into healing at that level which may not seem helpful. The 100% healing factor requires max rank, demanding 650 badges. We do not recommend spending a large budget on him, as the cost is too high for a single effect. Instead, we suggest aiming for at least rank 4. Rank 4 is adequate for placing him in the captain position of either the bait or flagship. Setup In Sea of Conquest, legendary defensive heroes are limited, our available options are Yuji, Ahab, Obi, and Magnus. We must share the defensive hero with a flagship when using a bait ship. We prefer to have Ahab, Obi, and Wanda on the flagship. Wanda serves as a rage generator, helping Ahab generate shields more quickly. Alternatively, we can replace Ahab with Yuji, who provides a better shield. Since we don't have Magnus, our bait ship is weaker with Agnes. Therefore, it's better to assign Yuji to the bait ship, as his skills enhance its survivability. We don't have the best candidate for the first mate position on the bait ship, so we can experiment with different heroes in that role. For instance, Delilah could increase the ship's rage restoration rate by 25% during the first 12 seconds of battle. This would enable Yuji to cast shields before the opponent attacks. However, the downside is that this bonus lasts for only 12 seconds. We can also consider any legendary damage dealer or healer to further improve the ship's attributes. Let's be creative with our selections. Trinket We prefer armor and aggro bonuses for both the bait ship and the flagship. The preferred trinkets are the Golden Rudder, Eagle Shield, and Lion's Roar. 
since the purple eagle shield is easy to obtain, it is a good substitute if we don't have the golden rudder and lion's roar available. If you have 100 starlight gravels, you can fuse two purple eagle shields to create a legendary one. For additional information about the bait ship, please refer to this video. Alright, is the end of the sharing today. Please like and share it with your members. I'm Alan from Meta Instincts. See you soon.